My favorite thing about machinations is the visual representation. For me, it was really like, yes, this is what I need to do my work. My name is Sarah Brodsky, and I'm an economy designer here at Wuga. Wuga is a Berlin-based mobile game studio, and we focus on story-driven games. My role at Wuga is a game designer, and I often usually focus on economy and systems design. When you see what I do, you just often see a lot of spreadsheets, numbers, calculations, formulas, but actually what's behind all of that from my point of view, is designing the feeling of the game. Machinations is a visual tool for designing systems and economy. It saves me a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of stress. Essentially, Machinations allows me to check right away when another designer, another teammate wants to make a decision. I can integrate that into the economy and I can see like how that will play out. I discovered Machinations a couple of years ago, and I fell in love with that. My name is Mona. I'm a game economy designer at Buga. I'm working on June's Journey, which is one of the best-selling hidden object games on the market, and there is 20 game designers in the team. June's Journey has this huge player base all around the world, and some of the big challenges we just faced uh, in its economy was handling all these uh, live events, balancing lots of resources in there, and fighting with this potential risk of inflation. The machinations is not just about the economy design or system designs from a game designer perspective. You can also simulate the player's experience in there, so you can make sure that they are not facing any frustrations and there's not gonna be any blockers in the game for them. Machinations really helped the June's Journey playing experience, as well as I think experiences in the current game I'm working on, essentially by helping with playtesting iterations. We could model like how things would play out for the different kinds of players, and then when we play test, we can also see like what adjustments we might want to make based on that feedback very quickly using Machinations. I mean, the good thing about this tool is that uh, it's getting uh, better every day by adding new features. I really suggest this to all these game designers out there, especially economy designers. I would definitely use machinations in future projects. It just helps me do my job. So as long as I'm working on systems and economy, like there's no question I will use machinations.